Hi everyone, this is Mark Schaller, Top 1% St. Louis Realtor. Okay, I'm back today to discuss another video, and this one is about code, 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 and blah, blah, blah. I'm stirred up today by a customer, so I wanted to discuss this topic and kind of get it out into the open. All right, one client after another is telling me that their next house must meet code, code, C-O-D-E. All right, starting in 1935, Boca is a company in Chicago, and they are publishing standards for what new homes should be built as, okay? And then Missouri adopts those building standards. Okay, now I will be the first to admit that standardized building practices can be great for we consumers, all right? And then every two, three, or four years, there's a new revision to the code books. And these codes are standards by which new homes, this is a key point, new homes, I'm talking about new construction, homes under construction must be built. Okay, the Boca code in 1990 was 65 pages. 65, that's the year I became a realtor. The Boca code in 2020 was a whopping 700 pages of minutia. So the state of Missouri has 465 builders who are each responsible for 700 pages of code and for making sure that their 26 subcontractors understand the code too. I mean, I mean, what could go wrong, right? All right, here is a case study for existing homes that I experienced today. All right, I'm viewing homes with a 32-year-old couple and they invite their 60-year-old uncle over. Nice guy, bit confused, retired contractor. He gets out of his rusty truck in the front and already he starts beating the drum of code, 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 code. He says, I don't care what they buy, but it better damn meet code. And I'm like, okay, okay, let's make sure it meets code. All right. Well, my 32 year old customers fell in love with a house that was built in 1961. And Uncle Fred said, does this house meet code? It better meet code. All right. So the building code started in 1935, way back here. And it's been through 27 revisions since then, which is way out here. So what are the chances of a house built in 1961, now 60 some years later, what are the chances it's going to meet the standard building code? Uh, the answer is twofold and it's slim and none. It has no chance. So all consumers tend to want is really good, accurate information. So with good intentions, consumers go out to the internet, they visit websites like realtor.com and reddit and zillow.com and all of those websites are publishing information that's just flat out wrong. Okay? But it's information and it's, and it's content so they push it out there. Some guy on Reddit named Randy Rulebook working in his garage in New Mexico has an opinion that he thinks is universally true but that is nowhere close to the truth in St. Louis, Missouri. It's just a bunch of crap. <laughs> Bull crap. I said, I said crap. Oh no. Okay. So here is an example. This is a photo of an egress window. Egress windows were adopted into the Boca code in 1997. Okay. So if a house, that's 1997. If a house was built in 1978, what are the chances that it's going to have an egress window? Slim and none because they didn't do them back then. So is the, is the house from 1978 then out of code? Of course not. It was built to code when it was built, but the codes change, okay? Does that make sense? Consumers are being poisoned by way too much information out there, but sadly, there is not enough content or enough knowledge kind of behind it. Okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for my frustration with code today. And please be aware that that word, 
code can cause you a whole lot of problems when you're trying to choose your next house. Thank you for your attention, everybody. And remember, when you need a seller, call Mark Scheller.